Hello. This is a short tutorial on how to make a teaching video using Screencast O Matic. So, Screencast O Matic helps you to make videos, and it's good to use videos to help reinforce a learning point. If a student is absent or they didn't understand, you could share a short video with them to make uh, sure they understand. It helps to personalize the lesson, so and it builds rapport with students, especially during online classes, we're not there face to face with them. If you put your camera on the video, then it helps them to know what you look like and, and your mannerisms. screencast is really easy to use and it's free, so it's a, it's a useful tool. So I'm going to start with the tutorial now. Uh, this is the website we will be going to, Screencast-O-Matic, that's how it's spelled. So, to go to to start a video, you would go to Screencast-O-Matic. I have it saved there. You would open it. Now, one good thing about Screencast-O-Matic is you can log in and create an account, but you can actually start recording without making an account. I have an account, so I'm just going to use it. I think it's better to have an account. Okay. So this is the dashboard. You can save videos and images and do other things here, but I'm just going to show you the basic use of it. So you would click on Start Recorder when you're ready to show, when you're ready to start your video. Now, this isn't a video editor, so pretty much it's one shot film and then end. You can trim things at the start and at the end, but it's it's difficult to remove things in the middle. So try to keep it short and, and something that you're prepared to talk about. Okay, so we have the webcam here. This is what it looks like. You can see it has a frame. So we have screen that will record the screen, webcam that will just record the webcam you just want to talk and then we have both where it will appear in the bottom corner now I'm already here so I don't want to confuse it I'm just going to use wet screen but I would recommend using both like I say the students want to see who's talking to them the max time is 15 minutes this is because it's a free version there is longer but you would have to pay a subscription for it the size is the size of the screen, so you can set it or you can drag it smaller and shorter as much as you want. I just tend to use the main full screen. Narration, so uh, for the microphone, you could just use the laptop microphone, but it won't be that clear. I'm using a headset, but you could just use uh, earphones or one of those um, headsets that we, we provided with at work. Computer audio, unfortunately, again, is only with the paid video. So if you were going to play a video, you would need to disconnect your headset and play it like that. But, you know, it's still helpful. Uh, there's other little sections like this, but you probably don't need to touch any of those things. So when you're ready to go, you would click on record. I'm not quite ready. I'm just going to get ready for what I'm going to teach. And today I'm going to teach my students about the greatest football team in the world. I'm going to get the PowerPoint ready at the start. I'm going to click record and it will start in three, two, one. So hello students, I'm going to tell you all about the greatest football team in the world. Of course it's Manchester United and this is the reason why. He's got one in Europe already. Beckham. In towards Michael. It's come for Dwight York. Clear, with a shot. And when the video is finished, I would click down here to click pause. And now if I wanted to start again, I would click on this, but it's 29 seconds. I'm happy with the video. I'm going to click on done. Now I do have the option to edit. I think this is, you can add text and certain things. I don't tend to use all that. You can share it very quickly or you can just save and upload. This is what I tend to use. So 
So here is my video on the screen. You can play it to watch it again. So hello students, I'm going to tell Notice you that all about the Notice that it has the cursor on the screen the so it shows where I'm clicking if you want to show Manchester students. United. I can trim the start or I can trim the end however I see fit. And then when I'm ready, I have these options on the side. I can upload straight to my YouTube channel. I can upload to Screencast-O-Matic, which is the website, if I had a login. This would keep a record of it. I'm not, I don't tend to use that, I just tend to use the laptop memory. So I would use save as video file. I'm gonna call it going to be an mp4 version you can change it to avi or flv but mp4 is fine the folder i'm going to put it in is here and now i'm going to publish so this will just take a few seconds to publish and now it's done i can look in the folder so i'm going to browse the folder where it is opened up behind so here is my video now I could share with my students by uploading to blackboard I could share by uploading to my YouTube channel so I go into create video upload video or I could go to whatsapp and I could share share with Nanubia click on whatsapp web click on attach click on video and then it's here so I would send it to Manubia that way okay that's it that is how to create a screencast don't forget that you can get extra support if you want on YouTube or screencast itself they do some tutorials if you want to figure certain things out but this is how it could be used at by Nuna to at Adveti to help uh, students with videos of important points in the lesson we record our lessons they're 50 minutes long there's seven of six or seven of them a day when if you could condense it down to five minutes ten minutes videos you could show it them the night before before revision in the exams and things like this these are this is what it would be useful for okay enjoy